So I started doing the course on deep learning from Fast.ai uh, and when you go to Fast.ai and click on this first course practical deep learning for coders uh, and you go through this documentation it feels like that you need a GPU to actually get Fast.ai working on your system. Um, if you don't have a GPU ready on your system or if that uh, you don't have the system set up then there are some readily available platforms uh, where uh, this can be done some of them are free like Google Colab uh, which I tried uh, some of them are paid now I tried Google Colab but that did not give me the same feeling as working with uh, actual Jupyter notebook on my hardware uh, and that is why I wanted to try out a way of uh, using a fast air on my own laptop. The issue is I don't have a GPU in my laptop. Uh, so I wanted to find out is there a way to run fast AI with just CPU. So apparently there is a way to do that. Uh, let me just uh, quickly take you through the steps that I followed to get that working. So first, what you will need to do is go to github.com slash fastai. Um, when the page loads, uh, scroll down a bit and you will find fastai uh, repo. Click on that. You will get the folder structure where you will have to find readme.md. Uh, when you open that, uh, you will find a good documentation of getting fastai set up. Let me go through some of the steps that you need to have followed before you go into this documentation. Firstly, you need uh, Python installed on your system. So open your terminal on a Linux box. And uh, if you are working on a Ubuntu based system that similar to me, then what you will need is sudo apt get install python3. Um, I have this already set up so it won't do anything second thing what you will need is uh, pip so for that you need sudo apt install python 3 dash pip okay that is installed in my system so I didn't don't need to do anything else now once these two things are set up and I'm assuming a lot of this would have been set up on your system uh, what you will need to do next is uh, go into this documentation you will find a section on pip install actually you can uh, get the system set up based on conda also I personally prefer pip so I will go through that part uh, in this section of pip install uh, the command to install fast AI is actually straightforward pip install fast AI, but we won't do that what we'll do is we'll follow the instruction which is written in the line below it says that if your hardware does not support latest CUDA toolkit follow the instructions here so let me just open it here um, this will open a page for PyTorch so what we'll essentially need to do is set up PyTorch to run on CPU instead of an NVIDIA GPU using CUDA um, and uh, this page is actually very nicely made so it won't be very difficult for you to follow along what you need to do for that um, these toggles help you quickly get to this uh, actual command that you need to run to get uh, PyTorch installed on your desired uh, system uh, configuration so you will need stable and not nightly so select stable select your operating system i have linux package manager i have pip language is python and for cuda i will select none and this will uh, make sure that my pytorch is installed in such a way that it runs on cpu and not the gpu right so this is the command that you will need to run copy and paste this command on your a terminal um, in my system I have to change pip to pip 3 it might be different in your case uh, so when you run this it will get all the required dependencies of PyTorch and get PyTorch installed on your system I already have that installed so I won't go through that part 
next what you will need is once uh, pytorch is installed you need to just follow this uh, instruction which is pip install fast ai right so just copy paste of pip install fast ai uh, i have to change this to pip3 install fast ai it might be the case on your system so just try out both the things um again this is already set up so i won't run this uh, one final thing uh, which is recommended is uh, mentioned in this part of the documentation it says that if you're planning on using fast ai in uh, jupyter notebook, notebook environment make sure to also install the corresponding packages and when we click on this there are some clear instructions on what you need to install as dependencies for running fast ai as part of jupyter notebook um, this is the command for pip so just copy paste and run it on your terminal now once this is done you will be able to test whether uh, fast ai is actually working on the system one quick way to do that is uh, just type python 3 uh, on the uh, terminal and try import fast ai if it works it works okay now after setting up the whole system to run uh, fast ai on my cpu i went through the entire lesson first lesson of fast ai course and let me just uh, show you how did the performance look like so let me open my jupyter notebook okay so this is my note notebook that i created for my system where i wanted to run fast air which was set up to run on cpu uh, you don't need to change any code that was part of the lesson everything runs as it is uh, but I, what, what i wanted to actually show was the difference in performance so that you are aware of this thing before you actually go and run this on your system because there is a considerable difference in the performance that you see uh, on the course website uh, in the videos uh, when the system is actually running on a GPU or when you are actually running your own version of this lesson notebook uh, on let's say Google Colab using a GPU. Uh, one clear instance here is if I scroll down and go to the part which is about training. Uh, so here is where the model is fitting. So you will find that uh, I trained the model for four epochs and the time was way a lot so every epoch was taking like 35 to 40 minutes to run uh, on an aggregate basis this is way too much compared to what actually is the time required to run this on a gpu so if you are patient enough uh, to have this much time on your hand when you are building models then uh, you can go ahead with uh, CPU version. One thing to note here is your processors might be different. I don't know how uh, the performance might vary if you have a different processor. I have uh, Intel i3 uh, processor uh, and that too uh, this laptop was purchased uh, in 2014. So maybe a newer processor with uh, higher processing speeds might do better but still I still have the feeling that it will not be as fast as running it on a GPU.